Yo, welcome back to another Craft Beer Crew video. I'm super excited because we have a special guest today. He's coming. <laughs> Yo, we got Dave, and this is where it all started, so I'm super excited to have this. He's back. You want to tell them why you were gone? Uh, yeah, so I have a little one now, 10 month old, getting big. Um, yeah, I'm just being a dad all this time. <laughs> so That's sorry really if it's weird. windy. Yeah. We've been trying, we're trying to do this and I don't have the converter for the mics. So it's going to be a little windy at times, but we have a beer that we both never had before. We just had the company and we were recording and I tried to do this introduction before, but the, the, I don't know, the phone just freaked out because we were waiting for the batteries to charge for the camera, but the phone freaked out. So we're moving on. But the beer for today is from KNL, which is Keg and Lantern from Brooklyn and the beer is called Jazz Chickens. And I'm super excited because not only is this a 16 ounce can and contains 4.6% alcohol, but this is a sour, a raspberry sour. But let's talk about the artwork. All right, so you have this chicken, these chickens playing a, a saxophone, music notes. And if you can see, they have their little logo, which is a lantern on top of a keg. Let me try that. Yeah, but um, it's a very good looking can. I actually really like this can. What do you think about it? Oh, nice. Very nice. Pretty good. Very so appealing. David was telling me how he had a sour the other day that he truly enjoyed. So hopefully, you know, since I've been getting more into sours, hopefully we both enjoy this one. But uh, as you can see, the little raspberries here, I thought they were grapes, which I was super excited. I thought it was going to have like a little bit of a dry wine kind of flavor to it. but. Raspberries is ju are just as good. This might be even better. So the color, it's probably gonna be purple. It's uh, raspberry. Purple, reddish color. Since it's pale, it might be a light purple. Let's get it. We'll see. Woo! Oh, you might be. Wow, oh, we were wow. both Oh, wait, what is, it's, it's a, are you sure it's a yeah, sour? Yeah, it's a sour. It's a pale sour. It looks like a pale sour. Pale sour with raspberries. Huh. Interesting. I've never seen that actually. Smell? Oh, that smells. Oh, yeah. It smells crazy good. It smells super like fruity, like yeah. purple fruit. <laughs> that smells good. You, oh, you remember? You remember the little box juices? It was like juicy yes, juices. Yeah. That's what it smells. I know exactly what you're talking uh, about. Like the little juice boxes. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, this is strong. Wow, that no. Ooh, it hits the back of your shit. Oh my god. Alright, straight up sour, this is the definition of sour. <laughs> Super like, sour. Sa like you think of the word sour, this this is it. This is Oh my off the god. bat, this is uh, I don't wait. know, I gotta give it another go. No, it's sour. This is Whoa. sour. It kinda tastes like like it's weird to say like gasoline. <laughs> what I think gasoline would taste like. It's super sour. The initial kick shocks you, definitely. It's like a detergent. Yeah, it's, it's super weird. It doesn't it's, it's, taste it's, like I don't, raspberry. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, it, it is, is like soapy. It is like a strong soap. It has a remnant of raspberry, but you don't really taste as much of the fruit as you would think. I don't know what that overwhelming like flavor is, but it's maybe because it's like fermented and aged. You ever so, had like a Warhead candy? Yeah. And you just get that initial like sour? This yep. is basically it. Yo, this is pretty, pretty and I had I it. had the Arsenal beers and they had it at the store and I was gonna pick one up for Dave to try. Uh, for next time we will get Dave's review on that one. But uh, yeah, I mean it's not it's not bad. It's, it's not just, bad. It just caught me it's off. It's definitely Sorry. something you can't drink multiples of. You definitely have to take your time with this one. Um, in terms of rating, I'll probably give this, especially on the sour scale, I'll probably give this like a 3.4. I would say 3.5. Yeah. yeah, that's where I was pretty much going, but. It's, it's not bad, but it's it's very, very sour, and it's not the best. If you're into sour stuff in general, um, this would be right up your alley, but... Definitely. It's super sour. You get that bitterness at the end. Yeah. For me to have every once in a while, I wouldn't mind because it's interesting like to just try, but I, I don't know. Well, Dave, thanks for coming out, man. We haven't hung out in a long time. I know. Haven't been on a video in a long time. Yeah. I do got to visit my nephew sometime soon. I haven't seen him. Yep. He's growing. But super excited. Cheers. Cheers.